Capricorns. Um, this is the Ivy League Astrologer with the August 2015 reading. Um, I am out of my home zone. Um, I'm on vacation. I had meant to do my readings before, my monthlies before I left, but it didn't happen. So I am live coming to you from the land of the shaking trees and the green covered hills. So that's happening. Um, so yeah, the first card out for you guys this month, which is interesting because the wind kind of blew stuff around and rearranged things into, I guess, the way they were supposed to be. Um, but the first card out for you guys this month is the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> which I feel is like, I feel like this is about like waiting for information, waiting for like some sense of justice, you know, waiting for something to come through for you so that the scales can be balanced. From someone who's being sort of wrong-headed, or from someone who's just kind of um, certainly not being open with you, but I think not coming from a place of like respecting um, who they are, or respecting the facet of who they are when they're with you, you feel like that's part of why they've been avoiding you, or why you're only getting sort of pennies on the dollar from them. I think this person is sort of seeing your value this month. Um, but not certain what to do with that. They're not entirely out of the loop that they've been in. They're not entirely out of the... Um, they're not entirely out of their old belief system or something. But they're trying to move into something new. And they're trying to start something new with you, I feel, this month. And kind of heal the old herd and just kind of move forward. And this might be something that you've waited to hear, you know, that you've wanted to hear from this person. And so when it comes, you may feel like just letting your guard down and going, you know, all the way into it. But it feels like right now it's a little unclear where it could go, like what the end point could be. And I think that's because this person is still kind of in this kind of like back and forth place where they're telling you that they're very like, you know what, I figured this out and I'm ready to move forward. That's not the whole picture. So I think that if you kind of jump on it right now, it could be a little dead end. So I feel like maybe get out and talk to your friends a little bit about this potential renewal. Um, I think that they're going to help to keep your feet on the ground a bit. And remind you also how much time you've spent kind of waiting for this to come to pass. And that you need more from this person. So I feel like you may be tempted to, if this person's all like, yeah, yeah, let's do this, whatever. I feel like you may be tempted to sort of put your own feelings aside and just try to get on their page, try to get on their level and be like, okay, you're going to be super positive. I'm going to be super positive, you know. But um, I feel like it's better to kind of acknowledge what this has put you through um, and that that really needs to be fully addressed before things can be righted in a way that's going to be healthy for you to move forward with the situation. But I almost feel like, for some of you, kind of delving into the bigger issues maybe pushes this person away a bit because they're not entirely ready to deal with those issues. They're, they think they've conquered them, but they haven't really. They're sort of just scratching the surface in a way.
So, yeah, I feel like that, you know, again, it feels like, you know, if you, it feels like the advice is that you need to kind of demand your worth a little bit, or not even demand your worth, but just like insist on kind of getting to the bottom of things and being like, you know, it's like, don't hold back being like, actually, I was really hurt by this, <laughs> you know, like, don't just kind of be like, don't just put on a happy face in, in order to move forward, because that's going to blow up in your face eventually. But I also feel like when you tell this person, you know, hey, like, it's not all cool, actually, you know, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm not mad at you per se, but like, I do need to address these issues. I feel like they may sort of back off and kind of be like, oh, okay, well, actually, I'm busy over here doing something. Um, but I think that they're still going to think about your words, even if they may kind of like rescind their offer or something. And I think for you, it's important for you to say something, because in a way, it's like you're standing up for yourself. You're standing up, you're insisting on your personhood, you know. And I think that it's actually going to give you more confidence in a way to kind of address this even though it may not turn out in a satisfactory way. And for some of you also, I feel like if you, this person may kind of not want to hear what you have to say and kind of move away, but for some of you, I don't think this is true for all of you, but for some of you, I think this person may kind of come right back actually and be like, actually, no, I've thought about it and you're right. Like, you know, that is the case. So I want to move forward and I'm willing to like, if this person's willing to shoulder the responsibility, if they're willing to kind of talk through it, you may still be suspicious, you may still feel like, maybe it's too late, maybe this isn't right, I don't know, um, but it feels like they're being um, genuine. And it may be that the healing is not complete at this time, even if you, even if this person comes back again to you. But it does feel like it's at least the beginning of a structure that can kind of support you in the future. And drawing your boundaries is part of that, is part of the importance of the beginning. So I feel like by the end of the month, you're not going to be hanging around waiting for this person in the same way that you have been. Maybe you're already kind of done doing that, but them coming back on the scene brings all that stuff back up. Um, but I do think that there is... Yeah, again, for some of you, there's something that you have to do together, um, which is kind of why this person is coming in right now. And I feel like once you do that, there is both a renewal and a separation. So this relationship comes back, comes back in, and it's kind of up and running again, is live again, but they're still distant somehow. So whether that means you're separated, it's a long distance relationship, or what, it feels like that. It feels like somebody's going off to school or somebody's going off to some prior commitment. And then somebody else is kind of like on the home front, possibly pregnant, <laughs> um, but not really waiting for this relationship in the same way. It's interesting. This last little passage is very interesting because it's almost like you got what you needed from it, you know? I feel like you got what you needed from it, and the other person may or may not have gotten what they needed from it. But I feel like for the Capricorn, you're kind of done with it. Even though it's still continuing on in some way. So this is very interesting. There's both a fresh start and an end here. So. And I think it's mainly that the fresh start may not be in the way that you had contemplated at some, at some point, you know. It's not a fresh start. It looks like in the way of like, you know, having a home and family together and having that be all like beautiful and perfect, you know. It's, even though you may be planning for that down the line, um, It feels like the important thing is meeting with this person again and that that's going to help finish, either finish something, finish the relationship for you, or finish a particular way of being in that relationship for you. Um, 
and it's going to bring back, I think, a renewal of purpose, maybe. I think, it, yeah, a renewal of purpose and kind of puts you on a path that's a little easier to live day to day. I think you're going to feel fuller and richer. You may have some regret still at the end of the month, or there may be a part that feels sort of stuck and stony to you, difficult. But I feel like overall, you're able to look around you by the end of the month and feel satisfied with what's filling your life and feel satisfied with the way that you've arranged things and the way that your future plans are unfolding as well. But there's a tinge of sadness about it as well. So. For others of you, hearing this, hearing from this past person may kind of release you to um, express your interest in someone else who may have tried to get with you before or tried to gauge your interest and who may be a little wary of you right now, um, but who it feels like you could pick back up with in a way that maybe you just weren't emotionally free to do before when they kind of expressed some interest. Um, and I feel like that is something that could be positive for you, that could come back around for you. But I think you may have to, especially if you're a Capricorn woman, and there was a man who was kind of interested in you before, but felt somehow affronted or like you weren't available to them or something, I feel like you can kind of, you may be by the end of the month kind of working on getting back with that person, but they may kind of take some convincing. <laughs> uh because in the meantime they've kind of set things up for themselves differently um, but it feels like there's something that kind of stalled out for you that is still viable or that it's possible to renew and it may be not right away because I am getting a lot of like kind of stuckness but I feel like you may be kind of eyeing this person and they may be kind of eyeing you but I feel like you will have to present to them kind of all the reasons why they should consider you <laughs> because of something that happened between you earlier. So, yeah. And you may be doing that through your kind of public persona, through your public image, like through Facebook or Instagram or something, or kind of arranging things in a way that you want them to be seen. So, that's interesting. And that seems like something that will work out for you over time, but I think it's going to take a while. So. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing for Capricorn for August 2015. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you'd like a personal reading, please get in touch with me. My email address is the Ivy League Astrologer at gmail.com. My link for scheduling appointments is down below. And um, on my scheduling site, all the times are in Pacific time. So if it says 10 a.m., that's 10 a.m. Pacific time, and you can just Google to figure out what the time translation time difference is. Um, and um, the information about how payment works and how, um, like, what information I need from you, that kind of stuff, all comes in the confirmation email after you book an appointment. So just a heads up. Um, okay, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'm wishing you the best for August. Thanks. Bye.